and talk about music. This week we feature the wonderfully talented Andy Martin in his second appearance ever on Bone Master. I would like to hear your but, mouthpiece buzz. Okay, I do a few, a few exercises in my okay. warm-up routine, but uh, I have never really done act like uh, like jazz ideas on my mouthpiece. I but, see. But I'll try it if you want. Okay. <laughs> My warm-up mm-hmm. stuff is more a uh, uh, this is Joe Alessi routine I go through, but it starts on the mouthpiece and it starts in tuning B flat. Mm-hmm. And go down all mm-hmm. seven slide mm-hmm. positions. Mm-hmm. And he gives great advice um, for the mouthpiece buzzing. It says never buzz too hard, never buzz too loud, because okay. you're, you're going to end up just spreading your chops. If you keep it in a, 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 a more mezzo top maybe mezzo forte but more like a mezzo piano the whole time you get more of a resonant buzz and you, it, it pays off in, when you put the mouthpiece on the horn so and also to grip it with two fingers lightly so you, that reminds me not to press too hard so mm. so on and so forth and yeah stuff it's like good that. yeah good stuff yeah yeah but some people don't do any mouthpiece and yeah, then some people do free buzzing too. Oh yeah, that, where they just no mouthpiece, and they just free buzz, and they they swear by it. So I guess I guess it's different for everyone. Whatever works for each individual. Yeah, I think with me sometimes I'm doing different gigs all the time, and you know sometimes I play too hard or too loud or too much, and the thing that gets me back, and uh, like you know you'll feel real stiff, you know, and and so it's hard to hard to make a sound the next day or something like that. And I try to get under the shower as hot as it can be and uh, get the hot shower just to over your chops just to make the circulation start happening again, loosen mm-hmm. up your chops. I do that an awful lot on the car ride into work or whatever the next morning. Mm-hmm. And mix it up like that just to loosen up everything, try to get things back circulation-wise and uh, relaxed-wise. And then, and then hopefully you can recover. Compete with the volume of the rhythm section and it's impossible. It, it is. is just, I mean, we're metal against flesh, yeah. you know, and they're just banging on stuff with their hands totally. or with sticks, you know, so. Or amplified. Win. True. <laughs> yeah, bass is amplified, piano is <laughs> amplified, guys banging on a cowbell, it's like, you got no chance, really. But, so, the few times I've run across chop problems is mostly just playing too loud, playing too hard, and um, the recover thing is more, more than just playing the horn softly, it's, it's trying to get under the hot shower, like I said, right. or, and, and really try to get the circulation going. It can be chops. scary, too, when your chops feel. Yeah. I, I hate that, too. Oh, it's, a fr- it's frightening. Yeah. Show, show up on an orchestral call or something like that, have to play something soft, and the night before you were, you were mm-hmm. cranking away with, a, a, you know, with the amps cranking and stuff, and it, yeah, it's a different world. So um, I always try to be more careful these days. Hello, everybody. Paul the Trombone is here. Thank you, Andy, for that. That was incredible. He will be back for more episodes of the Bone Masters series. 
please check out his recordings if you don't already. I'll put a link down below in the description, and you're going to have to purchase them because they are a definite must. I would like to tell you about this gentleman, Jack Redman, who will be joining us on the Bone Master series next for his first appearance. He's a Hollywood great trombonist. He's going to tell us wonderful stories about performing and doing uh, sessions with the likes of Jimmy Cleveland and J.J. Uh, Johnson, to name a few. He's a wonderful, wonderful man, and you're not going to want to miss that. There's other people we're filming here. We're having a great time. So I'd like to thank all my patrons, all the viewers, BAC Music, and most importantly, my announcer, Timony Tim Tim. Timony Tim Tim is my announcer. I've been trying to speak like him, but I'm having an issue with my octave range in my vocal cavity. So Timony, take it away. Hello, and thank you for watching Bone Masters. Keep working on that book. For the meantime, I would like to tell you about you can tune a piano, but you can have tune a fish. Or can you? By the way, have you ever tried these wonderful fruit cups at Denny's? I ate one the other day. I ate one the other day. I ate one the other day.